Our next guest, probably best known for being one of the most talked about and controversial figures of the 70s. She's probably the best known of all the uh, porno stars, uh, female porno stars, made a, a very well-known movie called Behind the Green Door. Then about uh, seven years ago, she stopped at that activity and now is, um, what, what would you call it, making a legitimate uh, career or... Um... <laughs> Well, I don't know if what I did was illegitimate. No, that's I right, it wasn't, but uh, in any uh, event... Uh, more mainstream. Yeah, mainstream right. movies right. now, making yes. an R-rated film called yes. uh, what, Marilyn? Party Incorporated. Party Incorporated? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of sounds like the old days. <laughs> well, it's, it's my business, and I throw parties for people. So. I see. Professional party giver. Right. Now, was it tough for you to, to get out of that uh, syndrome of the porno films and get into the other area? Well, the stigma is definitely there, mm -hmm. you know. Um... But the first, actually, the first R-rated film that I did was called Rabbit with David Cronenberg. It was a horror film. I don't know if you saw that out there. But um, it has been difficult. Uh, and at this time in my life, I'm married. I just got married. And um, I really wasn't looking to do really any films. I, I'm, we're starting a family and things like that. So um, this phone call came very unexpectedly. And I was very surprised and, and very happy because... I didn't want to make any more X-rated films, and uh, I didn't feel that it was necessary. I've only done five. It's not like I've done 400 or anything. But um, so I was very happy to sign this contract for the three films that I'm going to be doing this year. I guess the reason why everybody knows you is because uh, uh, while that film was out behind green doors, uh, mm -hmm. word came out that uh, you were the baby on the ivory snowbox. No, I was no, the lady, I, the I mama, was the mother. Oh, the mother. The I baby. thought she was the baby. <laughs> She's the mother. No, I mean a little bit younger. percent. Sure. Right. <laughs> you were the mother. I was the mother. Yes. <laughs> was that Procter and Gamble? Yes, it was. And they didn't uh, know that you were. Uh, no, they flipped out. <laughs> what <laughs> happened was I had done the ivory soapbox. I was 17. It took them two years to get the old picture off the box and my picture on the box. And at the the very same week that the boxes hit the shelves, my film Behind the Green Door came out. I so see. it was. Mm. And if Timing it had been, is everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it had been one or the other, I don't know. I'd be here today. So. Well, why did you stop making these porn films? Well, I really don't feel it's necessary uh, for my career. When I started making X-rated films, it was a time in society when, where there was no erotic films. There was either stag films or art films, supposedly. So it was kind of a new thing. And, um, you know, I just, I really feel that the AIDS issue is, is a very, very uh, important thing. And I, I don't really particularly... Uh, feel that the the quality of X-rated films these days is something that I want to be involved in. You know, I'm not putting that. That's I, I know where I came from, so I'm not putting it down. Because I must say that when I was doing X-rated films, I had a great time, and I don't regret a thing. Although you did make one film with John Holmes, who later died of AIDS. Mm -hmm. Was that a turning point for you? Well, um, it's pretty shocking, and it's it's very. Uh, you know, I've had AIDS tests. I, I really don't know if I want to be told I'm going to die. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fortunately, so far, everything's fine. But it's kind of a catch-22 situation. Now, Marilyn, are you serious when you say you have no regrets? No, absolutely. I have no regrets. Wouldn't you have rather taken this road to begin with? Well, there's a lot of competition. <laughs> so, but you've, you've made it now, see? I, mean, I have made it now, but the reason why I have made it now is because of the road that I took. You know, I believe in fate. <laughs> Would you encourage other young women to, to go into? <laughs> These days, no. Because no, of the health hazards. Because concerns. of the health hazards. And I really feel that it, it has held me back a lot, you know. Uh, so maybe that is one regret, you know. Um, the R-rated pictures that we do now, um, you know, it's, there's, it's sex, sexy, it's funny, it's cute, and it's very light. It's not, um, it's rated R by the Motion Picture Association, so it's not like an X-rated film that's... Right. Well, yeah. let's take a look at, uh, uh, at you in action, okay? Here's the new Marilyn Chambers now <laughs> in a scene from her new movie called Party Incorporated. <laughs> Marilyn gets married. Why not? She did it in real life. Yes, I'm, I'm all wrinkled because I just came from the Howard Stern radio show. Oh, and yeah. Did he beat up on you pretty no, good? No, no. Howard is a great guy, I've got to tell you. And, um, no, he just so, beats up on us. He, he's fine with Marilyn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, Marilyn, congratulations well, thank you. Uh, on Thanks your for having me. real life wedding and on your new career. Yeah. And the best for you, okay? Thank you. Marilyn Chambers, Party Incorporated. We'll be back in a moment.